today's video, we're gonna make Harry Potter pumpkin pasties. That's right, those sweet treats that Harry Potter buys right off the cart on the Hogwarts Express. I'm gonna show you today how to make a vegan version of those so you can enjoy them this fall season. From my research and looking at many different recipes, they are basically a pumpkin hand pie. Pasties can be savory or sweet, but of course the ones in Harry Potter are pumpkin and they are a sweet treat. So I'm gonna wave my magic wand and make the ingredients appear. Wow, and the ingredients are already measured out. I should use magic more often. There's two parts to this recipe, the crust and the filling. So for the crust, you're going to need all-purpose flour, cold butter, cold water, sugar, and salt. And for the filling, you're going to need pumpkin puree, melted butter, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and brown sugar, and salt. For the pumpkin puree, you can use canned or homemade. I make it myself, and I have a recipe on how to do that on my TikTok. I will link that down below. And we're gonna start off by making the dough. So we're gonna mix our sugar and our salt into our flour. And we're going to add in our cold cut up butter. If you have a pastry blender, you can use that. I don't, so I'm just gonna use my hand. And we're just going to break up the butter in the flour with our fingertips until it's about the size of green peas. Once it's in there all crumbly, we're gonna add just a little bit of our water at a time. Mix it up until it comes, until it comes together. You may or may not need all of the water in the recipe. That looks good, it's starting to come together. We can press it into a bowl. If you have saran wrap, turn this out onto some saran wrap or onto some wax food saving sheets. I apparently am out of saran wrap, so I'm going to use a silicone mat. I'm going to press these crumples into a circle. Wrap it in saran wrap, pop it in the fridge for one hour. While that is refrigerating, we're gonna go ahead and mix our filling. And then we'll just set this aside until we're ready for it. We're just gonna mix all of our filling ingredients right into the pumpkin puree. I did not knead it, I just folded it a few times. And we want to roll this out to about an eighth of an inch.
once you have your dough rolled out, you're going to cut out little circles. cookie cutter is definitely getting its fair share of use this month. If you watched last week's video, we made soul cakes and we used the same cookie cutter for that. I'm going to place all of our circles on this cookie sheet here. Now with the scraps of dough, we're just going to press them together and cut out a few more. And we're not going to press the scrap dough together again because it'll get too tough. This you can either smush together and bake with a little bit of cinnamon sugar or you can just throw it in the trash. Okay, now we're going to take each of these little circles and we're going to fill them with a little bit of the pumpkin pie filling. We're going to take each pie and fold it over and crimp the edges so you end up with these half moons filled with pumpkin. I'm just pressing the edges together with a fork. Once you have them all shaped, we're going to take a little bit of plant milk and some extra cinnamon and sugar to brush the top with. This will just help these get nice and golden brown. A little cinnamon and sugar on top. And these are ready to be popped into the oven. Check out these adorable pumpkin pasties. They're cute, they're bite-sized. You can make them bigger, but I want like little perfect bite-sized pieces. They're still quite hot, so I need to let them cool before I can try one. But these are our magical pumpkin pasties. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down in the comments if you try this at home and let me know what you think. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. And share this with another Harry Potter fan. Bye y'all. Thank you.